Welcome, welcome to my diary and to Tommy. Here we talk about whatever I want to, and today I am so excited. I stayed up pretty late last night making the window pane of my riot quilt, um, and I finished. It, this is all sewed on. Um, I used this, the sewing machine for this part, so you remember I hand-stitched the fire on, uh, appliqued, and you know, there's some pulling, there's some issues. I'm not, I'm like, like I said, I, this is my second year attempting to quilt. And this is my second really big quilt that I've attempted. I've planned a bunch of them, but I don't always tend to have the fabric that I want for them. This one, I was like, girl, use what is in your house, use what you have because you want to make this quilt. So I had used, this is a just a blue top sheet. This orange one is another top sheet that used to be used around this house. And this, um, it's like a snake almost. I got this from, I think the shop is called Ankara and Lace. It's a black owned um, fabric shop. And I had found it and thought this shop was amazing um, and had just this is one of the very few fabrics I've ever purchased just on whim. I don't usually have like money like that, that I feel like I can do that. Um, but I did it because I really wanted to have this in my possession. And it looks amazing here. I think it looks really interesting. But wait, oh wait, first, I'm holding some cheap Captain Morgan. So excuse me while I celebrate real quick and hopefully I don't kill myself on camera. Uh, my goodness. Ooh, it wasn't that bad. I did it. Okay, so next part. I had a lot of different ideas for the young man on the center. Am I going to try and do this super literally? Am I going to try and do this symbolically? Which details am I going to hold in? For example, um, my first thought was, do I keep his head? Because if you look at the picture closely, it does. it's not a shaved head. It's a hooded head. He has some type of hood on pulled over his head and you can kind of see it bag over here. So I was like, am I going to just remove the hood and put a more obvious silhouette of a head there? Originally, my plan before I had been going to use this color and this color and this color, I had been planning on um, using, making his body be the red and white stripes of the flag and his head be hooded with the blue with the white stars. But then I was like, at first of all, I don't think Old Glory is quite the symbolism that I thought that this quilt needed, the energy that I thought this needed. Because this is very ancestrally led. This is very ancestrally driven. And it's not, um, it's not just an America thing. It's like a black person thing. And it's a class thing. And we've been colonized by people who, who the one people on earth who had serfs, had a serfdom issue. They're there who took their colonies and civilization to the rest of the world. And so that's kind of what we're into right now. So I didn't think the symbolism of America and her hypo hypo uh, the hypocrisy, I guess, of, of the freedom for all and equality for all. I didn't think that was necessary. So it took me a while, but I had found that it's very sheer. It's very sparkly. Um... But I think it's gonna I think it's gonna look pretty interesting and nice on the actual fabric and it's gonna add like an interesting weight to it which I think will be nice for people who who use this you know perhaps later on in the future for um, just to wear you know what I mean just to use when they're like having movie night or whatever to use so it will keep the blanket warm that's for damn sure so basically and right now I just have to plan the individual out, cut out the pieces. We just need two arms and I need to figure out the head portion and um, shorts. I think I might put the shorts on. They may be made out of this. I'm not sure if I'll just include that in the silhouette. I'm not sure exactly how that part's going to turn out. But this is the fabric for his, um, for the individual and, um, I might put something up here as well that, that has to do with like maybe the crossroads. Like I like to, sometimes I like to put like a circle that I cut in fours and then like when you separate them, you kind of get a crossroads cross in the middle. So it will be like two of them. So maybe that's what I'll do there. But um, yeah, so the next part, I've got to bust out my um, paper bags, my brown paper bags and start drawing out a face, a body all of that good stuff, arms, 
all of that really good stuff and to figure out how big he's going to be on here at any rate. I'm really excited to have finished the window seal. This next part's probably going to be the hardest because I've never worked with like sequin fabric like this before. So yeah, <laughs> not sure exactly uh, how that will go down, but I think it will be fine. Um, we'll see. We'll see. You know, like I said, there's been, there's been a few mistakes, things that like I wish I could do better, but I think, you know, you have visions in your head, but if you don't have the skill yet, you can't do it, but you don't get the skill if you don't try, right? So that's why I'm going to just keep going forward, keep pushing on because, um, you know, it's not always going to turn out perfect, you know, but I think it still has a lot of intrigue and uh, movement and yeah, I'm really excited. I'm really excited. So keep with me, keep with me. We might be done within the week, fam. We might be done within the week. Who knows? Who knows? <laughs> Thank you for watching. May your ancestors and spirit guides be with you at every crossroads, and I will see you next time.